Education, culture and art is picking up. I think the most important stakeholder today is the architects. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so saving the best for last in that sense, Mr. Kavar Malik uh, uh, is a very, very uh, erudite architect but with a great vision towards appreciating art, appreciating nature, not the standard glass boxes that we see, but something that is much better. I will uh, quickly just introduce him as well. Uh, Mr. Architect Kamal Malik is the founder and principal architect of Malik Architecture, born and raised in Shimla in the pristine environs of the Himalayas. Hence, it is no surprise that even today, nature remains the source of his inspiration. He completed his architectural studies at the School of Planning and Architecture, SPA in New Delhi. Malik Architecture has from its inception attempted to develop a relevant contemporary syntax of architecture for the subcontinent, eulogized by architecture as a synthesis of ecology and spirit. This unique approach has been recognized in numerous design competitions and won national and international awards. I request Mr. A.D. Saman to kindly present a memento to Mr. Malik. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's an honor being here. I think I was with the artist and took a brief run. And I don't know whether all who gather here are aware that this technique of casting is 8,000 years old. So, uh, beyond the form and so on, and the, the images that he's tried to bring through or bring out uh, as a context from where he comes from, and particularly he's dealing with the you know with an aspect of children. Um, that's very important because I'm not sure what his intention is, but the innocence that is associated with children is something that we all strive for, especially as we grow older, you know. And uh, so I think that the, the fun that they are having, the, the enjoying the simplest of things, you know, we need a lot to say that, look, you know, I think we need a lot to be happy. But here, you know, it's very little that they require to bring out the laughter, to bring out the cheer, and I think that is what's happening in a lot of, you know, that we see here. So, summarizing the 8,000 year old technique, and for me, I'm myself a person who is more into abstraction, because um, I must humbly admit that I was inducted into meditation more than four and a half decades ago by the Yogananda Foundation. So I have been blessed. So the, the, the understanding, you know, because it's what is intangible, which is consciousness. How do you express it? So somewhere we will have a dialogue, with, but it's very important that he has the technique. So we also sketch and so on and so forth, because to, to have a form representation is one thing. But when you go beyond form, you know, so that, you know, to show you, to zero, what is that? So one day we will have a debate and we will, we will, we will but I think we can use the technique he's generated to be able to come through and evolve a completely direction, different direction of art. Thank you very much.